What's up guys, Shane aka Musty Yeti here. Today's gonna be a quick video where we take a look at a range bag that I've thoroughly been enjoying over the past few months. Um, I will admit I don't have a ton of range bag experience, uh, but this thing has everything I'm looking for and then some. And if you guys are in the market, I'm sure this bag will allow you to check all those boxes you need to check when you're uh, gonna purchase a new range bag. And what I'm talking about is the all-in-one range bag from UTG. Um, I saw this thing online and I was in desperate need of a new range bag. Contacted them, begged them to send me one, and they did, and I'm really happy with this thing. Um, so let's go ahead and flip the camera around, take a closer look at this thing, and talk about a little more detail. Okay guys, like I said before, this is the all-in-one bag from UTG. Now this bag is offered in several different colors to really help you guys pick a bag that best suits your style. Um, I love flat dark earth, so I want the tan, desert tan, flat dark earth, whatever coloration this is. I know it's coming across a little OD green, but I do have uh, some uh, flat dark earth pistols in the corners here. You have the XD and the CZ. As you can see, it's a little lighter than the XD, a little darker than the CZ, uh, but to my eyes, this is a true tan, desert tan, flat dark earth color. As far as the other colors go, they offer this in purple and black, which I'm guessing is for the ladies. They have a red and black and an all black, and of course the color that you see here. This bag is a really good size. I don't think it's too big, I don't think it's too small. It really does fit my needs uh, perfectly. Um, it does measure uh, 21 inches by nine by eight, so that gives you guys an idea of how big this thing is. It retails for around 50 bucks, and when you see what this bag has to offer, it's definitely worth the money and then some. This bag is constructed from high quality synthetic material and I have no doubt that it will be very durable and will last just as long as you do. Uh, this bag is very versatile with its size and compartments, which uh, we'll see here, that do allow you, the user, to really uh, use this bag however you see fit. Before we get into the main compartment here, let's cover some of these exterior pouches that we have. Uh, we have two pockets on what I'm gonna call the sides. I think they refer to them on their website as the front and the back, but when you carry this thing, this faces forward. So you have two pockets, two, on the sides, each of which have uh, molly straps going down uh, both sides of the bag here. And that allows you to add even more to this if you wanna do a medical kit, more mag pouches, um, anything, even Velcro for more patches, that allows you to do that on the sides of the bag. Uh, once these side compartments are unzipped, guys, you have a fairly large, but skinny, I'll admit that, but a fairly large pouch. You can put anything in here, straps, um, extra AR mags, you know, AR-10 mags, AK mags, anything like that. And the same goes for this side here. Once you get this unzipped, you have uh, same fairly large skinny strap to put whatever you want in. On top of that, let's get this centered here. We have more pouches on the back. Now we have a pouch with an elastic strap here that you can use for, I think it's intended for water bottles, but you can really put obviously anything you want in here and tighten it down with the elastic strap. You have another smaller pouch uh, that you can put again, anything in here, uh, lights, anything, another more pistol mags, I don't know, whatever you want, the small mag there. On the front here, the front, because it faces forward this way when you walk, not only do you have another pouch, but you have this nice Velcro patch here, which is cool for displaying your patches of any kind. And as you guys can see behind that, you can put a business card or anything you want. So I have my uh, my business card with my contact information and stuff back there. So you have a nice Velcro um, hook and loop there on the front to put any patches you might want. And then in here, this is a really cool pouch. In here we have uh, elastic, uh, hoops here that hold mags and I've tested almost all the mags I have um, obviously AR-15 mags won't fit in here but pretty much every single pistol mag that I own fits in here I will say the exception is if you have a single stack magazine like a Glock 43 or I'm guessing the Smith & Wesson Shield these might be a little big for that but every other pistol I have the magazines fit great uh, the CZ the XD the Glock um, 1911 seem to fit okay because they're a little bit longer uh, what else do I have? Uh, my VP9. So all of those magazines fit and hold in here just fine. But again, you can put anything you want in these elastic loops here to store them when you go to the range. Let's get this zipped up here. 
Oh, oh. There we go. Get the center back up. Get this out of the way. All right, so let's get into the main pouch here. Let's get this undone. So you have some nice Velcro holding the two straps together, the side straps. This is nice and padded, so it won't wear your hand out or make your hand get sore from carrying. So as you guys can see here, we have uh, we have two zippers that run down the entire top here with a very comfortable padded handle uh, that connects the two zippers that makes this thing really easy to open. Uh, so you simply grab this thing, like I said, nice and padded. You pull it easy enough. On top of that, you do have Velcro at the end here to help uh, keep this pouch closed so no dirt, debris, or anything gets inside the pouch. Uh, let's see how the best way I can show this off here. Once you get this thing open, you see that there is a clear um, ID pocket here where you can store any essential paperwork that you might need access to, like tax stamps, government forms, anything that you deem important that if you get stopped or anything, you can simply unzip the bag, pop this sucker open, and boom, you got a clear window to uh, your papers that you, that you deem important. Uh, once you get inside here, I don't know if you're going to be able to see how dark it is. Uh, here, let's see if I can fix this. All right, guys, so I cranked up the brightness, so hopefully you can see it, okay? Uh, but once you look inside, you see that we have six compartments set up by these very thick padded walls uh, that are completely removable and adjustable to really make this bag uh, suit your needs best. And when I say uh, walls, I mean every single one, which is including the large main wall going down the center of the bag here. So technically, you could remove all of these and just have one huge, large compartment. On top of the uh, main wall and these padded walls you see here they also include extra ones so if you even wanted to get even more you know uh, compartments in here you could do more I think that there's three more here so plenty of padded walls to make this bag fit your needs best also included in this main bag uh, this main pouch here is one brass bag that you can see that you can use to collect your uh, spent casings um, it, that comes in handy a lot. I always pick up my shells because I go shooting on somebody's property, so it's really nice to have somewhere to uh, dump all my shells. We still got more to show off. Uh, what's really cool about this bag is on the side, inside of the main pouch, we have two of these removable uh, thin pistol cases. Now these are lined. Uh, here, let's just take them out and show you. There is, oh, zipper, hello. <sighs> Uh, both of these are lined with the same material as uh, the main pouch. Now this, you can stick any of your uh, Velcro holsters or anything to hold, help hold your pistol or magazines in place. And the same goes for this one. It's a little different style, so you can kind of do whatever you prefer here. Uh, same thing, open it up, thin pouch that has uh, that <coughs> Velcro lining that you can used to put pistols or magazines in. So you can either use this and keep it in the bag, I guess, or take these out and use these side pouches as well. I like to keep everything in there. And I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I don't use these, but I really like that they include it. So in the future, if you guys or myself want to use them, you can. Heck, if you wanted to go on a trip and it's across the state or something, you just wanna take this small pouch and put a pistol in, you can do that. So that's really cool. So let's get this thing closed up here so we can talk about the next thing. Wait. Okay guys, now let's say you get this bag set up the way you like with all those compartments and everything here. You get it set up the way you like and you're going for a huge range trip. This bag is going to be heavy but UTG's got you covered and they've included a really heavy duty uh, strap with uh, metal connections so you don't have any plastic here they have to worry about uh, breaking if it hits something. Nice uh, heavy duty metal connections. Um, it is adjustable like you see here. And the best part about this bag, uh, because mine gets heavy with camera equipment and ammo, is they include this really nice padded and big thing to notice here, curved strap uh, for your shoulder. So uh, it just, it fits the contour of your shoulder really nice when you're carrying it. It's also got this uh, like leathery type texture on the back to really help it grip your shoulder. Um, this is one of my favorite parts of all right, guys, sorry about that. My battery died. So what I was saying is uh, this is definitely one of my favorite parts about this bag. Like I said, mine, my bag gets really heavy with all the equipment I take, and it's really nice having this padded, uh, grippy shoulder pad here to really help make the uh, trip easier on my shoulder. All in all, guys, this bag has been great. Um, it appears to be very well made. It has PVC coated material, uh, reinforced stitching where it's needed, and even some heavy duty uh, zippers. Heck, there are even rubber foot pads on the bottom of the scene to keep the actual bag 
off the dirty floor or roughest surfaces or just help keep this thing in place when you throw it down in the back of your rig, your car, your truck, or even on a table as you see here. I'm really looking forward to using this bag more. Um, I can't remember the last time I was this happy about a bag. You know, I get, you know, I get gun parts and guns and that's cool and all. But you really uh, underestimate how good a high quality range bag is. And even using a crap one like I've been for, uh, for so long. Uh, so as you guys can see with everything included, the molly, the extra pouches, removable walls, all that stuff. But this was just a well thought out and executed design. Um, if you guys are in the market, you really need to check out this bag. Um, Cause as you guys can see, it offers a crap ton for a really reasonable price. Well guys, that about wraps it up on today's video where we cover, like I said, what I think to be a very excellent bag uh, from UTG. Um, if you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, please leave in the comment box below. As usual guys, take care, stay safe, and we'll see you next time.